Portugal, and this is a wig that you guys know that I love. I've had it before in the black. Um, all I did was add dark roots. Just watch the video. You'll see how we did it. But thank you guys for following my travels while I've been abroad. Love you. All right, my loves. I'm back with another... Lord have mercy. I'm back with another wig review. It's my last day in Portugal. So stuff is literally everywhere. But I said, you know what? Let me give the ladies and gents one more wig before I leave. This wig that's on my head uh, is my go-to wig, y'all. I love short hair on me. Some people say, you know, we like long hair better. But sis, this is what I like. If you're interested in short hair, if you love Nuna, you need to get this one too. This wig is called Eve by It's a Wig. I have her in this blonde 613. I have her in a black. I have her in a copper. I just love this wig, okay? But that's not the wig that I'm about to review for you guys, okay? The wig that I'm reviewing for you guys is a wig that I have already had before. And I love the wig, okay? And actually, you guys love the wig. That's probably one of my most watched videos. I decided to cop in the 613 of blonde. Bam! The wig that I'm bringing you today is Kenzie by uh, the Sis Sister Wig Collection. And I have her in the color blonde, which is a 613, y'all. What was I thinking, sis? We gonna try it, though, okay? Uh, if you watched my previous review on Miss Kenzie, you know the specs of this wig. Um, she comes with that moon parting, so you can pull some up, some down. Um, it says natural top knot and half updo style. She comes in a bunch of sombre colors. She's a lace front. She's heat safe up to 400 degrees. On the front, they have the model wearing it with half up, half down. On the back, they have her with it all down, it looks like. Yes, and she does come with baby hairs. You see the model wearing it. Um, I think there's something on the inside of this card. What does it say? Oh, no. Just shows you how that moon parting looks. From the back, you can also rock her in a low pony. Um, and that's an up close, close picture of that moon parting. I love that Zuri came out with this moon parting series. So far, I have Fab, which is a longer version of this wig. I have Kitty, which is a straight long version of this wig. I don't have Roya, and I want to say it's like a kind of like a Fab, but that moon parting is bomb. This is what Miss Kenzie looks like straight out of the pack. No dark rooting, okay? So, you know, if you wondered how I got the dark rooting on this one, sis, that's the Sharpie. The mark went through with a Sharpie, added some dark roots. And I know that I will do that with this one as well. But she comes with the hair already up in a pony if you want to rock her that way. On the inside, that's that moon parting, okay? She has two combs here in the front, one comb in the back with the adjustable straps. Those are those baby hairs, okay? She does come with lace to cut off, and I don't have my scissors on me, so pause. Let me go get my scissors, and I'll cut it off. All right, let me scoop back. Actually, let me get a snack first. I know, and I'm sorry, y'all. These are like the traditional snacks here in Portugal. They're called natas. If you speak Portuguese, go on in the comments and comment. But y'all, it's, it's like good credit in heaven in a little disc, okay? It's this custard on the inside and it's like a crust on the outside. It puts you in the mind of an egg roll with the crust, but it's, it's, it's like a sweet gooey just. There is a God. Y'all, that's so good. But anyway. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry. Let's get back to the wig. Let me take off Eve, okay? This is Miss Kitty. If you saw in the previous clip, I just cut the lace off. This is how she looks straight out of the pack. Cute. Giving me a little chilly to vibe. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Sweet Jesus. Jesus is on the main line telling what you want. I just lied to y'all. It's three combs in this wig. One, two, three. I said two earlier. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, Lord. I look like Goldilocks. I'm clearly going to take that ponytail down. Hold on. Let me take that ponytail down because... Mm -mm. That had me looking like Goldilocks. Oh, y'all, that's so good. I can't even focus on how this wig looked on my darn head from that Nata. Okay. 
it's a it's a actually it's a that's the nickname for it like the slang name i was told by um a few locals that it's actually like a long a long name but that's just the name that the slang name for it y'all it's like this custard on the inside and it's oh lord that was good oh let me hurry up with this review just playing yeah so i cut the ponytail down because the hair is already voluminous anyway and i think that the ponytail just adds to the like extraness of it let me try it without the ponytail then i might go get my sharpie and we dark root this together all right so y'all know we gonna brush these curls out let me see that yeah okay so this is, y'all, she's full of body, just like, you know, my black one. It's just because of the color, it's, you know, a lot. So this is her unbrushed. I brushed that little piece a little, but let me do a 360 for you guys before I unbrush it all the way. This is her straight ahead. This is her to the left. This is her to the right. And that's her to the back with everything to the back. So let me brush out these curls because it's giving me Easter speech right now. Okay. Get it. Let me brush these curls out matter of fact let me brush out one side and leave one side unbrushed for you if you are into big voluminous hair y'all this is for you if you're into blonde this is for you if you're not into blonde i recommend getting her in a one like i said i've had her in a one and i love her yeah i think she's pretty she's a lot what i'm gonna do this side is brushed out this side is unbrushed Y'all, she's pretty, but it's a lot, okay? And I get that it's a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'll keep it on camera, but I'll stop talking. I'm going to style this unit. I think she's kind of cute, but not kind of cute. She is cute. She's right up my alley, even though the blonde might be a lot for you. Like I said, no, don't, don't dislike the video because you don't like blonde. Look at me with them snacks in my lipstick, okay? Look at the unit itself, okay? That's that moon party. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to style this wig on camera. I'm going to, by style, I'm going to lay down the baby hairs and see what final result we come up with. All right, sis. And I'm going to eat the rest of that thing. Okay, hold on. You know your girl love a snack. And girl, when I say them things was good. All I'm doing here is I really should have trimmed those baby hairs first. But I'm quickly just going to lay them down using some got to be glued. Um, later on in the video, you're going to see me do something that I learned from an amazing group that I follow on Facebook. In order to darken roots, all you need is really a Sharpie. I know some people use mascara, but it's a little sticky for me. So Sharpies work just fine for me on darkening my uh, roots on my 613 wigs, and you'll see me do that. Um, when I wear this wig, I actually will cut those baby hairs down a little bit. It's just, y'all, I need to pack, so... Just watch the rest of the video. I hope that you guys enjoy. Like I said, I can't wait to get back stateside. I love you guys. 